Hi guys, my name is Lauren and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about books that were purely cover by. So I guess I'm going to show you books that I got that were purely cover by. Let's go. All right. Right on the top of this pile is The Beast is an Animal by Peter Nell von Ars Arsdale. Look at this cover. It's fucking gorgeous. And something just about the cover and the colors and the title. When I bought it, I thought it was Beauty and the Beast retelling. And I literally didn't know shit about this book. I still don't know shit about this book. I just saw this and was like, mine. I, I need it. I need it. Look, look at this cover. Still don't know what it's about. Don't tell me because I am going to read it, but I'm just going to, it's going to be one of those books that just go into completely blind. But yeah, everybody laughed out. Like I told somebody once, I was like, yeah, it's Beauty and the Beast you're And they were like, nah. I was like, you sure? They were like, bitch, no. Oh. Well. Still going to read it. <laughs> I still love this cover. It is fucking gorgeous. Next book I have on that list is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I, um, look at that hologrammy at the top, the colors. This book I heard about, um, Sam from Thoughts on Tomes talks about it a lot, a lot, a lot. And I was like, the idea of like this kind of a competition in the circus is held at night only just intrigues the shit out of me. But it's one of those books that like opinions are very polarizing or polarized or whatever. People on Booktube and Goodreads, there's like no in between. They either like this book or they, I mean, they either love this book or they fucking hate it and they're like it's boring so I was scared to start it but I really was just sold by hearing her say she likes it and once I saw this cover I was like I'm like a bird I like shiny shit as you'll see here soon from a lot of these covers next up on this list is a book you've seen already in my beta series somewhere it is Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge this one is a Beauty and the Beast retelling this is another one that um, was recommended uh, or talked about on Sam's channel and from like back here when I looked at it, these look like piano keys to me, but even still just like that cover, that steroid intertwining with that rose is just fucking gorgeous to me. Also, I really love this book. She has a couple um, retellings. Her other one is Crimson Bound. I think it's like Red Riding Hood or Robin Hood or I can't remember. I read it and I liked it. And then she has another one that is um, Romeo and Juliet Family Feud-ish. But yeah, love this book. Love, 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 loved it. Another one that some people found weird, but I liked it. Then we have, see, shiny shit. I like shiny. Hunted by Megan Spooner. This is another Beauty of the Beast retelling that I saw the cover for. And like the shiny against the mat makes her pop away from the background. Just holding it right here when the shiny is like in that kind of recessed look. It just makes her pop off the cover, and I just loved that. This gorgeous is I mean, this cover. This cover is gorgeous to me. Next up, I have Hunter by Mercedes Lackey. This one is a dystopian kind of urban fantasy. I don't know if it's why or a new adult. Really, there's romance in here, but the romance hasn't really gone anywhere yet. This one is set in this world in which, like, the lining between our world and the next has torn, and all of these beasts have come through. And it has this um, Hunger Games feel only in that like we have these warriors who are sponsored but they are sponsored to take the monsters down. Like it's televised and all the other crap is very played up in the way that that aspect of the Hunger Games is. But you know they're not killing each other. They're hunting monsters. They're pitted against each other like scores wise. Like it's almost like a reality hunting show where people are racking up points and everybody has their own fans and whatnot. But I actually really enjoyed this book. I have the other, I have one other book in the series back there and I need to get the middle book so that I can go on with it. I've been wanting them in hard copy because I enjoy these covers so much. But, uh, in hard copy I mean, not ebook because I just enjoy these covers. The other one, Elite, that I have, which is kind of like this horned beast that took me a while to see him. And the flames, I don't know why I thought it was just like a regular wyvern dragony looking creature. But this one is book three, I think. I think Apex is the second one. I don't even damn know if this is book two or whatever. I don't have my computer in front of me. But anyway, 
I have book either two or three, so I'm missing book either two or three to complete these. But yeah, this was completely a cover by and I was pleasantly surprised because I see Mercedes Lackey um, a lot and she has like the older style fantasy covers. And sometimes I'm like, eh, we'll see. We'll see because older fantasy tends to be drier and I don't like it as much. But again, I was pleasantly surprised and I really like this. It has a very modern, um, new agey kind of feel with the way everything with like social media and TV and internet is um, brought into this world where everything is like the hunting and such is modernized where it is not just like the here's our you know our dark hunters or our shadow hunters here to save the world but they're like doing that but hey pick one we're gonna make some money off this shit which I think is a cool way to look at it. Next up I have who is this even by? Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. This is another one I had seen people talk about and I was just like, eh, we'll see. But then I saw this particular cover with the gold shiny because I am a whore for shiny things. <laughs> and I needed it. Have no idea what the fuck this book is about. <laughs> Clearly I, I haven't read this one. I don't, I don't know shit. I don't. But it's got deckled edges as you can kind of see there. I love sitting close to this camera. You can see shit. I don't like having the camera right up my nose. But I like being able to show you guys in detail and shit. And you can see that little sticky patch up there kind of from where someone put a sticker. And I was too scared to take that one off. But yes, love that cover and the spine. I think I have the fate of the killing because I was like, I need the whole series. I'm going to read this and I know I'm going to love it. I really made that just straight judgment from cover. But I don't like that cover. Anyway, I'm still missing, I think, one book in the series. We'll see. It's also supposed to be a movie, if it's not already. I don't think it's a movie yet. I'm so out of loop. I don't know shit. Anyway, um, so I was like, yes, I need this. So this is one I would definitely read the book and watch the movie. But yeah, totally 112% cover by. Then I have Six Guns Snow White by Catherine M. Valente. This was a... Uh, because specifically, I recognized Charlie Bowater's artwork on the cover. Charlie Bowater is a person that like was doing fan art um, on the side of her art, other art job. And she really blew up because I think of all of the fan art stands on Tumblr and Instagram. And then she started doing a lot of book covers, which I thought was really cool. Um, I think one of the first that she did was in the Akatar or Throne of Glass fandom because she, she does a lot of Sarah J Mass fan art that I really enjoy. But anyway, um, she has this distinctive style that I could recognize like anywhere and I, I saw this cover on Book Outlet, Book Depository, Book Outlet and was like, hell yeah, and it's a Snow White retelling? Uh, yeah, this book's very weird. I really don't like it much, but it's got gorgeous art. And I think Charlie Bowater also has art on the inside. Bitch, where are you? Really? You gonna do me like that? That. There we go. That is very much Charlie Bowater. So, so much. Easily recognizable to me as her style, as is the cover. So, even in black and white, I know her artwork anywhere. And that is what drew me to that book even though that book was weird as shit. Next up I have, even though I was gonna buy it anyway, this specifically meant that I needed to buy the UK version. This is Wonder Woman Warbringer by our Lord and Savior, <laughs> Queen Bardugo. That's probably pushing it a lot anyway, cause since pros did have some problems, even though I gushed about it all the time. However, um, still love that woman's books. Except for the Grisha one. It, anyway. Um, this is the UK version. I had the US version already. Then I saw this one. I was like, well, bitch, I guess I'm about to have two. And now I buy the UK covers of all of these because they match. So this one, Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo. Let me show you the other two, which I don't know why I didn't just fucking bring out. Batman Nightwalker by Marie Lou. And then Catwoman Soul Stealer by Sarah J. Maness. So I really don't know that I'm ever going to read these because I don't want my image of... I don't want my love for them for superheroes ruined and this is just one of those things that's very hard to do not in a graphic format like if it's not graphic novels if it's not comic books if it's not web comics if it's not tv movies it's very hard for them to come across well so I don't know that I want to read them because I'm scaled but they're just so fucking pretty they're gorgeous so I only I have the u.s version of this one too but that was not a cover buy. These bitches were purely cover buys. And this one particularly, because blue is one of my favorite colors, that blue and that orange, bish, yes. 
putting these away is gonna fucking suck. Then I have Want by Cindy Pond. Like, it sounds cool, too. It's this, um, this sci-fi futuristic world in which um, rich people kind of buy and sell time to add on their lives. And if you don't have access to wealth like that, you can't afford, like, the uh, immunity from illnesses. You can't, like... Uh, for cures and wellnesses and you just don't have the added time to lengthen your lifespan. Um, I believe the main character whose name, hello, Jason, his mom um, dies and it could have been helped had someone, you know, just donated time, given him time. One of the rich people came off of it even though they can clearly buy more, but it's like a weapon they hoard. It's one of those commodities where they're like, I mean, it would make your life better if I could just give it up. I really don't need this much of it, but no, I don't want to do it because I'm rich and I'm entitled and fuck you. And he finally gets tired of it and sets out to do something about it. So I found that out after, like I had put the book in my cart. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I didn't even read any part of the summary. I saw this cover and I was like, it's gotta be sci-fi, it's a dude in a space helmet. I want it. Didn't know if it was YA, didn't know if it was adult, didn't know who the hell wrote it. I didn't know shit, I just wanted it. The second one's coming out soon if it hasn't come out this month already. I believe it's coming up here shortly. So I probably should read that. And then the last book on this pile, that I have is The Tiger and the Wolf by Adrian Tchaikovsky. This is a fantasy series that, because I have the second one over there. Actually, no, the second one was a cover by, and then I needed the first one too. But anyway, it was still a cover by, and I was like, ooh, I like this one too. Whatever. I digress. Um, this one, fantasy world in which there are shifters and there are tribes of shifters, and the main character was born to the leader of the wolf tribe and the leader of the tiger tribe, and they're not supposed to be able to change into one or the other so they don't know she has a secret form and in the middle of the war that's about to pop off like that's a big fucking deal because she's the only person that can do that i don't know much else about this book i've been putting it off honestly because a lot of people have been telling me that this particular series of this author's is dry he has some sci-fi stuff and some other fantasy stuff, stuff and some other fantasy stuff that's supposed to be really good but i've heard tell that this one is not so much and i'm scared but I really like shifters, which is why I bought it. And I was like, high fantasy with shifters, not just paranormal romance. I was like, oh, yes, please. And now I'm scared to read it. So yeah, those are the books that like, as I was just going across the shelves, struck me as purely being cover buys. Like, there are some books that I have that I picked them up purely for the cover, but then I read them and was more enticed. These, like, I was probably gonna buy them whether I found out anything about them or not, because... I'm covetous like that. I'm basically consumerism's bitch. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. Let me know some books down in the comment section that were cover buys for you. And I will try not to go nuts and buy them all if I really like the covers, but I make no promises because like I said, I'm consumerism's bitch. So <laughs> I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.